Yes, in the Western world what happens, many people say, what do I need a guru for? But if they examine their lives, they will find that when they are children, they go to school, you need a teacher. A guru is just but a teacher, but a spiritual teacher. When you go to school, you need a teacher to teach you A, B, C, D and word formation. So the child learns to read by himself or herself. And when the child learn, can read by himself, he does not need the teacher anymore. Hmm? Like that, if you go to um, Leslie Janos over there, who is one of our teachers here in Vancouver, he is a concert pianist and also a teacher of the piano, a music teacher. Now I'm sure he would be able to tell you that when you have a new pupil, you know, pling, 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 plong, the tonic solfa or whatever, and then afterwards when the pupil becomes accomplished, people would be able to play Mozart, Bach, Beethoven, whatever, so easily and spontaneously. So in everything in life, everything teaches us something. If the sun gives light to the whole world, a little lamp can at least give light to a little room. So everything I have found by practical experience is a teacher to me. But a true spiritual master can sum you up. He can see your emotional state by the radiation that emanates from you. He can see your spiritual state. He can see your emotional state. He can see your physical state and guides you, gives you the proper kinds of practices, the proper medicine in other words, so that your progress can be expedited. Um, what is the sense of having a shelf full of all kinds of different medicines and pills and you try and experiment with one bottle after the other? It could be fatal or detrimental. But if you have a doctor present who knows exactly which pill is suitable for you, then naturally uh, you'd be taking the right medication instead of um, experimenting. Yes, even if you're lost on a path somewhere and you stop your car and you ask a passerby, uh, how do I, you might be battling up against a mountain there, and you ask, how could I reach the sea? And then you'll say, lady, uh, you turn to the right and turn left and right again and you'll reach the sea. At that moment, that person guiding you is your guru. Hmm? If you go traveling, on a long trip and you do not know the territory, you use a map, the map is your guru. Yes, eh? So, I've said this many times, over and over again, and it's been published in all our newsletters, and every center throughout the world send out newsletters, and the sub-centers then send out uh, their newsletters, and then we have the national newsletters, and I've, they've quoted me many, many times, that the purpose of the external guru is to awaken the internal guru within you. For the divinity that is within me is the same divinity that is within you. All I make you do is realize and experience that divinity with wisdom and practices and according to your needs and necessities. So you do not need to go on pilgrimages or go and visit holy temples or shrines. Uh, it is all inside here. It's all there. And that's all where you have to go to.